Hey guys, Cade Risa here, back at you with another plush sourcing video. Today we're going to go through a bunch of black bags of plush that I recently bought, but I wanted to also let y'all know that I have recently been, recently been approved to sell on the platform called Whatnot. So if you don't know what Whatnot is, check out the link below. Uh, I have a referral link that I will get $10 on, and you will also get $10 in credit on if you sign up through Whatnot through my link. So it's basically a site where you auction off items in 30 seconds to a minute. You've heard a lot of the other YouTubers talking about it as well. I thought it'd be a good way to do uh, some plush, get rid of some plush, and also maybe do some baseball cards I got in a storage unit and any other storage unit stuff that comes up that I might want to liquidate somewhat fast. So yeah, I'm approved to sell now. I don't know when I'm actually going to do one, but uh, let's cut to the plush. That's what y'all are here for, right? First up is these two tag team uh, WWE, or I don't know if it's the, that's the right one, but they're wrestling figures. Uh, it's Becky Lynch and somebody else. I don't remember the other one's name, but yeah, it's two wrestlers. I think I paid like two bucks for these. They'll sell for anywhere between 20, 25. They have sound. Everyone's favorite hugger. Yay! They both talk. So that's good that they both talk. <laughs> this, I only paid 25 cents for, believe it or not. This is a big Yoda. This little guy, this little guy is probably a foot and a half to two feet. So good pickup there for 25 cents. I don't know his exact value, but I would guess $25 to $30 for him probably because the Star Wars is really popular. Uh, this little one, I will lot up with other ones. I've sold a lot of them for probably $20, $25, but I've got Kermit and you've also got like Animal and a couple other ones that are in this lot, but picked her up. This is a Wild Republic monkey. Anywhere, probably 15 to 20 if I had to guess for this one. And then a little minion. <laughs> not really worth much probably go in the whatnot auction so like i said go follow me on whatnot and you might get the chance to buy some of these this little grave digger is a monster jam plush it's felled motorsports I'm not sure what that means exactly but grave digger is the most popular monster jam figure you can find it's not doesn't make sound or anything but it's a cool little pillow and it was only 25 cents feisty pet this one is love you to death. <laughs> so it's a little feisty pet. Also have its sister, maybe. <laughs> Another cat. This one's a brown and white cat. Feisty pet. These are probably, these aren't any home runs usually. This one does have the tag, so it might be a little bit better. But these are typically 15 to 20, maybe $25 for feisty pets. Then you got a little Care Bear that I will lot up with other Care Bears. This one... I don't know if it says its name. It doesn't say a name. It's from 2014. It does have a barcode, but it probably came from Walmart or something. Uh, maybe Sunshine Bear. And then we got Scentsy Elephant. This one, I don't remember. They actually These actually do have names. Oh, that's the price tag for the uh, wrestlers. Uh, these actually do have names. This one actually does have the scent pack in it, which can help sometimes. It doesn't hurt the value, at least to have the scent pack in there. And you have to make sure you disclose what kind of scent's in there, because sometimes people can be sensitive to scents. Sensitive to scents. Say that five times fast. But uh, yeah, make sure you disclose it if you have a scent in there already. That way the people will know and won't get mad whenever you uh, ship it to them. Next up, a little Hatcha Babies. This is Hatchimal brand. They turned it into plush. At one point, the Hatchimal toys were really popular. Christmas, like 2016, 2017, 2018, somewhere in that range. I was selling them for over $200 and paying 60 bucks for them. But yeah, this one's probably worth 10 to $15, maybe. Maybe not even that. Uh, this little guy is Quivers. It's a TY or TIE, however you want to say it. He'll probably go to the whatnot auction because <laughs> I accidentally broke his tag. I still have it, but uh, it's somewhere around here. There it is. That's his tag. So that came off of him accidentally. So <laughs> yeah, my bad. You got this little guy. This is a TY Punkies collection. I don't know his value. He cost 99 cents apparently, according to that. And then you got the little rainbow corns. These things were never really that popular, but... Uh, for 25 cents, which is what I paid for everything except for the wrestlers, I'll pick them up. And let me pull some more plush out and then I'll come back. Next up is this puppet right here. This guy is between 20 and $30. It's Jake. It's a vintage puppet. It's from, I think it was, the brand was like Addison maybe, or Scott Foreman Addison. So I'm not really sure what that is, but it was going between 20 and $30. 
I think I paid 25 cents for this one. We got another Cincy Buddy Elephant. These are actually, I got them at different times, but uh, I'm showing them in this haul together. This one actually does have the tag, so it should be worth a little bit more. And actually, it might have his name, yeah. Ollie. Ollie the Elephant is his name. So Cincy Buddies even, even the Cincy Buddies have names on them. Uh, My Little Pony Plush. This one is some kind of party, maybe. I don't know. It's got, whoever owned it decided to do its hair, obviously. But uh, this one might go in the whatnot auction. If I do a Build-A-Bear whatnot auction, need to remove that from its nose. <laughs> but I think this one was, this one might have been a dollar. I don't remember for sure. And remember I was talking about Miss Piggy. There's Kermit. He will be lotted up with Miss Piggy and a couple others for around 20, 25 bucks. Paid 25 cents. Another rainbow corn. This one is like a flamingo kind of with a unicorn horn. I don't know exactly. It looks like a flamingo almost. Or it's got a beak at least. I don't know. <laughs> I'll pick those up occasionally. This little guy is Frolics. Another TY branded one. And this little guy, Pen no, Freeze. This one is Freeze. Yeah, the video froze. No, it didn't. I just had to do that because it was funny. This is from Doc McStuffins, I believe. It's Lammy. That's a big one. Might go in a Disney auction if I don't decide to put it, if I don't list it. An Angry Bird. This one's big as well. Hopefully it'll do pretty well. And then this little thing, I don't know why I picked it up exactly. I think, I don't know. It's past Easter now, so uh, <laughs> we'll see if it has any value. It's a little brown bunny. I might have picked it up because I was going to think about doing a big Easter lot, but obviously it's a little late to be doing an Easter lot now. This guy was worth a decent amount. It's Minecraft Dragon. I think 30 to 40, maybe even a little bit more than that, but I paid 25 cents for him. We got a skunk. This one is hug fun. Oh, it says squirrel. I'm pretty sure it's a skunk. <laughs> I don't know why I picked it up. Can't answer that one. Simba from Lion King Broadway. A little plushy. Probably mm, 10 to 15, maybe. And then to watermelon. This one is your berry sweet. These seem to do decent. Well, the dandy, like, plush-themed uh, food ones. I think it's a watermelon. Well, it might be a strawberry. Which one do you think it is? I guess it's a strawberry, actually. We got this dog. I think this is Snoopy, I believe. It's got a little ball in there. I think this one is worth 15 or maybe 20 to 25 I don't remember. But this one's worth a decent amount, too. And I will cut and then come back with the final bag of plush for this video. Here are the final plush for this video. Starting out with another little Hatchimal, Hatch of Babies is what this one is. I believe most of these I actually pick up at work. Let's see if this one does. Nope, this one's the one that doesn't, of course. Uh, no batteries, no battery power. But this one, I'll lot up with other Hatchimal, Hatch of Babies. Sell it for, sell those in a lot. Tony the Tiger plush. Probably not worth too much, but for 25 cents, I definitely picked him up. Little raccoon, T.Y. This bunny. I'm not sure. I used, just looked up Google Lens on it, and it didn't show me anything. So if y'all know, it looks familiar to me. Bab, Babs the bunny, Lola the bunny. None of those seem to match up with this. Roger Rabbit. Doesn't really look like Roger Rabbit. I don't know. Did he have a girlfriend? <laughs> Let me know down below, because I actually don't know. Uh, this plush. This one was... Nathan Hale, Revolutionary Patriot. So it's supposed to emulize him. And I guess that's part of Yale, the college. <laughs> did it say Hale? It did say Hale. Okay, I was like, wait, did that say Nathan Yale or Nathan Hale? But yeah, Yale. So maybe he ha had a hand in founding, founding Yale, the college. I don't know. To the big bag of plush, which I haven't gotten any of in a long time. So I've had this for a little while. It's a Folkmanis puppet right here. It says Jack Russell Terrier on it. So this little Folkmanis puppet. Folkmanis is a great brand of puppets to pick up. 
And if you have a Jack Russell, ter Jack Russell Terrier, hit me up. <laughs> and this one also got a Stingray with really cute eyes. This is Animal Adventure. I might try and do one whatnot of like Aurora, Wild Republic, and Animal Adventures. I'm not sure, but this little guy is cute. You got a Scooby-Doo with uh, pants that are patriotic and a hat. So a little Scooby-Doo plush. Stitch. It says on that there's writing on the tag, but still a little Stitch plush. Also, another Stitch plush. This one does not have writing on the tag. But yeah, I might lot those stitches together with this Stitch. <laughs> so I got at least three Stitches in this. As me, if you're if you're watching. Stitch. I know. Thrifting with Esme love Stitch. So here's a little Stitch for you. Garfield. Golfing Garfield with the flag on his hand. B-C-O-C. -C. Not sure what that reference is in golf or in Garfield. But most of these are from like 83. And this one is no exception. 78 or 81. 81, 83. But it's yeah, it's a Garfield golfing. And this is Niffler from Fantastic Beasts. Sold, sold this one before for 15 I think, or so. Paid 20 Actually, this one I paid 15 bucks for the whole bag. So, I don't know how many plush there are total in here, but probably less, definitely less than a dollar for each one. Here's another Folk Monus. This one does not... Or it does have a... It does have a... No, it does not. That's been cut out. It's a little koala. So, it's like a... Kind of a hand puppet. It's not big enough to be a big puppet, but he's cute. He does have his eyes. You can't really see them because they're covered by the fur, but... He has his eyes. A raccoon from Send a Friend. Never picked up that brand before, but I figured I'd give it a try. This is a Puffalump style Fisher Price. Price. Fisher Price plush. This is a lion. It's a big one. Uh, it says big things on it. And then it's these are like the made out of like the parachute style material. It's from 1994. I think it was 25 to 30 dollars, which was like okay, I'll get the bag now because usually they probably would have charged like eight bucks for this at the thrift store. That thrift store because this guy's huge. But with the the bag, it incentivizes me to buy some. And there are some marks on it, uh, but these do generally do pretty well in the washing machine. If you put them in a pillow and just wash them, a lot of the those stains will come out. Another raccoon. This is Aurora. Aurora branded raccoon. I think this is another send a friend, so I might lot this one up with the raccoon or just look them up and see. But yeah, it's a giraffe. Yeah, giraffe. Or no, zebra. Giraffe, yes. I've been getting those two confused lately, but that is a giraffe. I checked myself, make sure right there. This is a TY that looks like a jelly cat. It's Humphrey, but it looks like just like a jelly cat would. So I first thought this was a jelly cat. It is Humphrey. It's a different style than you're used to with the either the beanie boos or the beanie babies but picked him up and then i picked up this one which is also humphrey the same exact one so i can do a twins lot for this one some people buy them if they have twins and they want to get the same exact bear they'll look for that a white tiger which does not have a brand on it but it looks like aurora or wild republic or one of those This guy is the Ole Miss mascot, <laughs> or was the Ole Miss mascot. He is now banned. Uh, this is Beanbag Team Mascots Rebel, Ole Miss Rebels. Now they're the Black Bear, Landshark, whatever they want to label themselves as, right? Claire, Craig, Landshark Picker. <laughs> he, he, they label themselves as like five different mascots. Them and Auburn like to have multiple mascots. This little Angry Birds plush. Not worth too much, but I picked it up anyways. And last but not least for this haul is this little sand pet. It's like an iguana style pet. Doesn't have any tags or anything, but and it weighs more than a pound for sure. But these are always cute. I've picked up a couple of these now, and it was one of the last second throw-ins for the bag. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite plush that I found in this video. The most expensive one is probably this little dragon here it probably pays for everything that i bought but the little lion's also a cool plush as well so these two are probably my two favorites for this haul 
But yeah, don't forget to, like I said, leave a like, comment your favorite, and uh, go follow the whatnot link and uh, sign up if you want to. I don't, I'll let y'all know when I'm doing my first one, but yeah. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Lots of more plush coming. Thanks for watching.